If you're having trouble snapping the perfect photo of your kids, you're in luck this morning. We've got some help for you from Parents Magazine, which is kicking off its annual cover model contest. Editor-in-Chief Dana Points is here with advice gathered from the pros. Nice to have you back with us this morning. It's good to see you. I guess one of the most important things you have to start with is the camera. Yes. I mean, many of us are shooting with our phones right now, mm -hmm. um, which is great, and many of the tips that we have are going to apply. Uh, but it, it, you, it's really great to have a digital camera because now they're made with many features, such as um, something that can recognize a smile or a closed right. eye, a blink, so that they have these techniques that are really useful for families. They even have, I found, um, we have a small one that has a setting for kids and pets. Yes. So when they're common. moving too right. quickly. Movement is a big issue when you're taking shots of your It'll kids. help you capture them. And, and it's nice that a lot of these are, are much more affordable than they used to be even a couple of years ago. Yep. Um, there are certain times of day, too, that are better than others for taking pictures. That's right. You want to be shooting before 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m. Because what happens, this is when you're shooting outside, because the light during the middle of the day, even on kids who are, like, great, you know, have great skin and, yes. and everything looks fabulous, can cast some harsh shadows. So if you do need to shoot between 10 and 4, you'll probably find on your camera a setting called a fill-in mm -hmm. or a force flash. And you might not think you need a that's flash, what but it's you want to yeah, <laughs> force that flash to get rid of those dark shadows. Okay, perfect. And that's a great shot, obviously. Um, I yes. guess that's either early in the morning or sunset. I'm it's not sure afternoon. which one, but it's beautiful. Afternoon light is the best. This photographer, Peter Lamastro, who shot all these pictures of his kids, um, Link and Penny, uh, really gave us lots of tips. Great tips there. Well, another one that we, that we got from him that you're sharing with us this morning uh, has to do with, I think it's framing your subject. It's right, yes. You want to consider all the angles when you're shooting. One thing about shooting kids is, is you really want to get much closer than you normally would. So the first thing you do is take a couple steps forward and mm -hmm. get closer. And then if you can see, there's, there's like an uncut version of this photograph, and then you can see how we've cropped it. Try to do your cropping before you shoot. Okay. So give it just a minute. Step forward. Make sure there's no trees growing out of people's heads. Or a large house. So um, that one you've got most of the yeah. house. And then here when we when we crop exactly. it in, it's amazing. You, you don't see as much of that. It's a much better picture that way. And then you won't have to do all that editing after the fact. Which is nice. Yes. Uh, also, you recommend not being so married to your traditional photo of I'm taking a picture of you in your Easter dress. Kind exactly. Of I mean, you want to think about, not only about the angle. So don't shoot children down from above because then they look like they have huge heads and really little feet. <laughs> you want to come at them either straight on mm -hmm. or shoot up. And then think about capturing maybe movement or um, some really small part of the child. Use the macro setting on the camera to get like a real close up as we have of, of the, the foot feet. with this beautiful picture. I yeah. mean, there's nothing more precious than it's, the baby's it's little feet. Adorable. And when you're trying to capture movement, um, like a child who's jumping, sh put your camera, position your frame where the child is going to be when they jump, and then snap. So wait Got for it. them to jump. You so plan where, where they're going to end up and then, and then position yourself that way. Now, we exactly. have some friends here with us on set. We who you may do. have heard in the background. Jack and Bo and Olivia who are, who are joining us. This is a great way to keep your kids contained for that picture. That's right. We're going to, we say, kind of corral them a little bit. Look for something like a wagon or a basket, like Olivia's sitting in a basket here. And, and just try to keep them a little bit from movement because movement is such an issue. It is. And this can be sort of, you know, something different and at least entertaining for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, and two. have a toy or a game because a toddler, you know, baby, you, you can photograph them when they're sleeping, but a toddler, forget it. Um, <laughs> some period of deep concentration, like when they're playing with a game or we have a puzzle here, is great. These guys seem really relaxed. I know, though. you guys are doing a great job. Also, we have this tendency, of course, to say, all right, when you're ready, you know, cheese. Uh -huh. We should really, yeah. we should cheese, leave the cheese behind. Leave the cheese because it's going to get you really a kind of cheesy smile, not really a, a genuine smile. So we have a word that we, we practice. Bless you. you can Use any M word, so like okay. money or guys. Do you remember the word we were gonna say? Do you remember what that word was? Milkshake, right? Milkshake. Milkshake. Good job. See, and, and we got great smiles yeah. out of that. So it's yeah. the M. There you go. Nice yeah. work, Jack. So we want to go with the Good M job. sound. Right. The M sound makes a nice face. Mom could be a great Mom, one. Also popular. Mom might work. Or Mimi. And this is all important, of course, because you're here also to tell us about the contest at Parents Magazine. That's right. We're running our annual cover contest. And so we're looking for photos of kids three months to six years of age. Um, the Early Show website, I know, has uh, a link there that can take you right to the contest. We'll be flying 10 finalists to New York, and we'll take 10 
grandkids' pictures. Some of them, you know, one of them will be voted by the community. So it's really exciting. We've been doing it for years. Whoever wins gets our November cover and the cover of our November iPad issue. So very cool. It's, it's an exciting prize. We're excited for it. It is. Well, we're looking forward to it, and I know that they will all be equally cute. All ten. Of them. Absolutely. It's really so, hard to choose. It is good to have you with us, and even if you're not interested, of course, in entering the contest, these are great tips for you at all times.